What is going on guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you one of the most intense warnings we've had in a very long time here. And as you can see we are neck and neck at the moment, us just having one attack or one attack less used. And yeah, so we've got quite a few, we've got I think three Town Hall 9s we still need to clean and we've finished off, well we've not finished off the wall but we've left so far with one Town Hall 10, one start. So it's a very very close one at the moment they've got a good handful four attacks left four very good i think attacks left oh no 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 one is a town or low town hall nine so three very good attacks left and they have quite a good chunk of our town hall nines to do so this is the base that we couldn't two star one of us is going to try it later on in this video so yeah so it's very it's a very very close warning and i'm bringing you guys Every attack, well not every attack, but as many attacks as I can from this point on. I was literally sitting here, talking, waiting for the attacks to come. And, oh, it was a close one. And it's going to feature one of my live attacks. So guys, let's get you straight into the first replay here. And first off here, we've got Thor attacking their number 12. So it's one of our Town Hall 10s cleaning their, one of their higher Town Hall 9s. Which none of our Town Hall 9s could actually 3 star. And, yep, he's coming in with the Golaloon attack strategy. Did miss quite a bit of a beginning, but, none the, but nonetheless, as you can see, Queen level 25, Golems are in. I can't see too much on that at the moment. I'm trying to zoom out so I can see the rest. And he is doing the Laloon part of a raid now. As you can see, he puts every single Lava Hound down and almost oh, every single Balloon down right behind those Lava Hounds. So it's just like a simple Laloon attack here with... Like I say, he's not really put them down surgically, he just placed them all down and spread out the balloons. And he has got haste spells along with rage spells. And as you can see, there's so much pink and purple over there. But one more haste spell too, still to use. And the golem last lava hound does pop. But look how many balloons still standing. Last haste spell does go down. And that is beautiful. Look how fast those balloons are going. And brilliant first live attack here. 61%. It's a 3 star. Oh god, mind my language here. Yeah. I'm commentating over me. I just recorded that at the time, but yeah, yeah, yeah. My language isn't very nice, but nonetheless, brilliant free start. It was worth all of us celebrating. That hay spell is amazing. I still haven't learned how to use him. He's got the hay spell maxed as well, which is brilliant. Look how many lava hounds still standing. Skeleton trap somehow gets. Oh, I understand there was something in the center of a base. Okay, I thought they just randomly popped out, which would have been, which sort of scared me a little bit here, but. Yeah, so still plenty of time. One minute, seven seconds remaining. 89%. Those skeletons are causing a bit of trouble for these balloons up there because they are trying to make their way to the queen and those archers. But those, it's all all that's following them is those little lava pups. So that's all right. They're, the lava pups are faster than their fireballs, as you may have just seen there. But 97%. The builder heart at the bottom is going to be the last structure they need to destroy. And that was a brilliant attack from Thor here, getting us up ahead by one star. So now the score is 64 63. And for a second attack here, we could bring in your defense from Luke against a Greater China attacking. <clears throat> and yeah, so he's coming in with a Golem healer attack strategy. And as you could see, those wall breakers absolutely messed up. So that's a very bad start for him because those walls are level 9. And I'm going to assume they're going to start hitting at... <sighs> Sorry for that. I'm assuming they're just going to start... Yep, they're all bashing against different walls. There's no chemistry between those troops. The King, Gollum... Okay, two... The King and Gollum helping each other, but... He's wasted about 50... More than 50 seconds smashing out walls. So, great start for us already here. For, from this defence. And... Yeah, it just doesn't look good. He doesn't look like he's getting anywhere near that queen. Jump spell goes down. I don't even think it's even take. Yeah, the, well, the golems, of course, are going to focus on the Teslas first. But, nah, this is a very poor attack. <laughs> very bad attack. I'm very happy with that. I did say it was a bad double giant bomb placement. But, that's ah, still a great defense. The queen is not getting touched. The hogs go down. And we may, we may as well just skip on to the next attack. Because this is absolutely atrocious. So, thank God for us for there. <laughs> and 14 now, oh, okay, so next attack here, we've got Richard attacking their number 19, this is the next offence for us, we need this attack, because our 14 attacking 19, and he's coming in with another Golan Loon attack strategy here, and let's just see how it goes, so it starts off, 
golems are down again another lava hound in the clan castle not going to put too much damage onto those golems but there is going to be a real distraction that lava hound before it pops and after it pops as well so the queen not coming into the base just following that lava hound while well, the lava hound follows the golems while well, the king just follows the defenses queen enemy queen's already down and this base grounded expose one level three air defense and three level three well, there's only yeah, one air defense is going down right now, so we've only got two air defenses for him. Is that air defense going down? Yeah, now finally it goes down. Okay, there you go. And, yep, so there you go. Well, I don't know what's taking him so long to start the Laloon part of this raid. No, the Queen's just about to go down. We don't need this. Come on. Come on, Richard. Come on. Alright, finally we start the Laloon part of the raid. There we go. And... Double air mine onto one lava hound. Still okay. All three lava hounds have been placed down already on that one air defense. Not too sure about that strategy, but hopefully Richard can get this done because we need him to three star. This is war is so close as it is. The score is still 64-63 here. And there are two lava hounds now on that air defense. That's great. Double air mine once again, but they both take out two different lava hounds each so that's brilliant for richard right there one lava hound still standing that one is going to get taken out right now and got a good chunk of balloons definitely going to be a three star and yeah so that's brilliant we can just skip off the rest of this raid now and get look forward to the next attack our next attack is going to be me here it's going to be my live attack so <clears throat> Hopefully all goes well. We're just now gonna just now we're gonna scout the base of we're attacking. We are attacking number seventeen here. Just to let you guys know, my number eighteen base, I got ninety nine percent again, two star. Ran out of time once again with one structure to go, which was inches away from getting destroyed. But this is the base we're gonna attack. There is not there is quite a lot of pressure on me actually. I'm very nervous as well. I hope I can do good, that's the thing. So our number 12 is the best attacker so far on this. Our number 9 did fail on this and he's our highest town or 9. So this base is causing a lot of trouble both air and ground. Nonetheless we do go in here. And I'm going to start off from attacking this bottom cannon. The first column I'm going to go down followed by a few wizards. Just making sure those builder huts in the corners are going to go down. So I don't have to worry about them later on. In, in, hopefully if we do take down every defense and we're just cleaning up so the wall breakers to go down and that last golem goes down and we can put that jump spell so that the golems can go straight to that wizard tower rather than hitting at that one wall over there finally there is a dragon in that clan castle and i'm not too happy about that because my queen has gone oh my queen's gone off to the gold storage not not something ideal i want finally she's starting to shoot at the clan castle troops i think she's focusing on the balloon but now i hope yeah but now the king has turned focus Onto the queen, okay, okay, now turn away. It's all chaos at the moment, not the best start I wanted. But the thing is, I have triggered off two giant bombs there. So I've put two lands of hogs, and the other two giant bombs is at that top there between that wizard tower and air defense, as you may see just above the town hall. So hopefully, my hogs lovely. Oh my gosh, the spring traps! No, how many were springed off there? That is not good. Okay, so. Hopefully still that, that group is big enough. Oh, skeleton traps. Okay, got the poison spell ready for them. There we go. Skeleton traps are gone. Last heal spell goes down. And this is not looking too good. Oh, no. They're not wait, Not how I wanted that. Oh, once they destroy that mortar, they're running straight into the double giant bomb. All right, first double giant bomb. Come on, heal. No heal spell. Oh, the heal spell's already expired. And double giant bomb. There you go. And, oh, that's not how I liked it. So we're not going to add an extra star onto this. The queen does take the town hall, but we're just going to have to settle for the two star. Not happy about that, but guess you win some, you lose some. And nonetheless, now going off to Thor here. Number five attacking their number five here. And yeah, so this is it. This is their only town hall 10 attacker. Instead of going for a town hall 9, he did go because Thor was a one starred already. So he did go to try get the two star on Thor. As you can see, his heroes are not too strong. Level 17 king, level 20 queen. So this could be a little bit of an advantage for us, considering that his heroes are quite low. As you just saw there, lots of wizards just got spring trapped off. Still a good chunk of wizards left, and still six more to spare, which he just now puts them all down. But... I don't know, the jump spell is down, but they all these troops are bashing into that wall. Finally, all the, all the troops have made their way in. And now, 
first free spell goes down considerably quite early there. The jump spell, I don't know how long that's been for. I don't think a single troop has used that jump spell. Giant bomb there just takes out, wipes out all those wizards. And 33% and this looks brilliant. He is not getting that 2 star, let alone even the 1 star. So, very happy about that. And this is getting us inches to winning this war. And now we can look on to the second last attack here. And it's going to be done by them again. Their number 11 attacking our number 14. And I'm pretty sure this is their last attack. So, yep, this is their last attack of the good players. They have got one more attack, but it is their lower town or 9. And most of our higher town or 9s have been... Like two stars, so the lower town or nine will have to attack the higher town or nines, and there is not going to be too much of a chance of that. So again, another go hog here. That's the main strategy you're seeing in this war recap. The main strategy is in wars nowadays, I think. And now the hogs do go down with the dragon still standing. So if the queen, I don't know, yeah, I can't really see too much. Um, the queen now does the enemy queen does go down. The both heroes go down, and this is looking quite good actually. Um. I don't know, unless they run into a giant bomb, we'll see, but I don't know, actually. Oh, there you go, double giant bomb, and last heal spot. Yep, it's definitely not going to be a free star. That's great for us. And now we can just bring you our final attack. I did tune into this live attack quite late, and this is the final attack of his war recap. And it's our 12 attack in there, number 2, to try scavenge two more stars. As we did have a Town Hall 9, number 17, two star, but Naga already two starred him. If you did check out the name and remembered it earlier on. But this is Naga's only option to gain stars for us. So <laughs> I just take a look at the screen and it's already not looking good for Naga. Um, as you can see at your bottom there, one column stuck against the walls with a lot of wizards. Well, about three wizards there. The, uh, his queen is going down 34% in. It is not looking good whatsoever for Naga. And yep, the multi-target inferno tower does take up all the wizards golems aren't going to do too much maybe if that town hall is got a little bit of health left i didn't see let's see if a golem splash damage nope the town hall has still got a lot of health left so not look good not look good for naga at all and sadly he lost the loot just like thor has mentioned right there and he's going to just end it off right there so as we take a look at the final score yes we have won it guys 65 to 63 one attack left for them one attack left for us and as you can see i'm just counting down the seconds now 15 seconds left and this was such a close and tight war brilliant war brilliant one to be a part of and yeah guys if you enjoyed this specialist recap i don't usually do too many of these leave a like share it if it was cool enough subscribe to me if you're not done so you like the video and that's it from me guys and bang won the war war has ended and let's good luck for us on getting into the next war. Thanks for watching guys and goodbye.